Hi, I'm Bob Grip with your Fox 10 News Now update. Now to Pritchard, where a high-speed chase landed two men in jail. Pritchard police say 27-year-old Terrence Ball drove the vehicle and 25-year-old Curtis Carson was the passenger. Investigators say Ball refused to pull over for a traffic stop on Highway 45 and Leeds Avenue. During the pursuit, officers say they witnessed Carson dumping several small bags believed to be holding marijuana out of the vehicle. We're told the chase ended in Saraland's jurisdiction on Highway 158, where police arrested these two. They have since bonded out and face a charge of attempting to elude, as well as drug charges. A teenager is now in custody for gunning down a man in Pritchard. Police say the teen shot and killed 25-year-old LaCraig Brown last September. The crime happened in a business parking lot on St. Stephen's Road. Investigators say the teen surrendered. It's not clear if he's being charged as an adult. More details coming out about a former Alabama police officer accused of murdering his pregnant girlfriend. David McCoy is no longer on the force following his arrest. Investigators say McCoy was off duty at the time of the January 7th shooting, which killed his girlfriend, Courtney Spragans, who was seven months pregnant with his child. To the family of Miss Courtney Spragans, how deeply saddened and shocked we are as a community and as a police department that this murder has taken place. We extend to you our sincerest condolences and want to assure you and all of the community of Huntsville that this does not represent our police department, our police officers, or our community of Huntsville. Our commitment to you is for full accountability and that justice will be served. McCoy is charged with capital murder. A long standoff at a suburban Dallas synagogue ended with all the hostages safe and the suspect dead. The announcement came from Texas Governor Greg Abbott's official Twitter account, accompanied by the statement, prayers answered. FBI negotiators spent hours on the phone with the suspect at Congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville. They believe the suspect's motivation may have been an effort to free a convicted terrorist. Hostage taker was reportedly demanding the release of a woman nicknamed Lady Al-Qaeda, who is serving an 86-year sentence. She was once the most wanted woman in the world. The drama unfolded during Beth Israel's Facebook Sabbath live stream Saturday. As schools across Alabama, even here locally, cancel in-person classes because of a surge of Omicron COVID cases, the state's assistant state health official says making a recommendation that some parents simply may not like. But we need to take immediate measures in the schools once these schools come back into session. And we're very supportive of in-classroom learning, and that includes masking in the schools, really school-wide masking, using social distancing to the extent that the classroom can, certainly three feet or more, and finally, you know, continuing our emphasis on good hand washing. But we absolutely need to emphasize school-wide masking at this point. Mask mandates have received a lot of pushback from parents on both sides of Mobile Bay. As of Thursday, the state had 71 children hospitalized with COVID, including seven in the intensive care unit and two on ventilators. All right, and a good Sunday to you. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. A big, nasty system working its way through the southeast. A lot of different colors on the map. There's been some wintry weather even all the way down into our area this morning. We've seen some snowflakes in a few spots. That won't last long, won't accumulate. Moving on out very quickly. The big deal for us today will be the wind coming in behind this system. Gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour. Yes, up the tropical storm strength on top of the very cold air in place. So it's going to feel brutal cold throughout the day on your Sunday. You'll see that here on the map. You see even into the afternoon, our temperatures only topping out in the low to mid 40s. And with those winds, the wind chills will be in the mid 30s, even in the middle of the afternoon. So really cold stuff, biting wind throughout the day on your Sunday. You get up tomorrow morning on Dr. King Monday, and you'll see some uh, cold temperatures there as well. Uh, and starting out around freezing with wind chills down into the 20s once again starting tomorrow morning. So some cold air for today, cold air for tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for joining us here on Fox 10 News Now.